When we chose to be at the farm, at the ranch, um, running across all my marbilia, we found this old gray slat of wood that was written on it. Uh, it can't be done with the apostrophe and the T slashed out. And uh, when John reviewed that slat, he said, you know, we've kind of been living under that philosophy. And I said, well, that was the Severson philosophy. It can be done. It's still one of the pleasures that has come out of seeing my name and pictures in print and to have people uh, that I do not know walk up and say, I read your article. Did you really do that? And to be honest, to say yes, just as I wrote it, just as I wrote it. It was a whole new life for me. Everything you just talked about is what I have received from you. By reading your story, I know who you are, not just that hustle bustle <laughs> aunt that mm. could outrun a chicken. <laughs> um, but that's exactly what it does. It gives that history to me to pass on. My own children um, talk about Auntie June. And mm. you're so admired, but we have those stories. You've given us the inside of you. Oh, that makes me want to cry. Well, it's so true. It's so true. I'm June Severson, and I wrote a story, City Girl Goes Country. It was fun, and so I found a new avenue to express myself, and I think was to share that part of my life that was so important and that made life click. Thousands of Nostalgia readers sharing thousands of photos and stories have made Nostalgia Magazine the most stolen magazine from waiting rooms, reception areas, and doctor's offices. Nostalgia Magazine. Ageless stories. Ageless photos.